Welcome into your Zodiac reading. I am so happy to have you here. My subscribers, you know I love you. Welcome back. And if you're new, just finding the channel, I welcome you in. Um, I do believe anyone that clicks on this video, it's for a reason. There's something here for you, whether it's the whole message and that really resonates, or there's something really valuable, one piece of it that you'll take away. Um, stick till the end to find out, okay? So we're going to start off the Zodiac readings with the tea leaf message, and then we'll get the tarot for an overall message. We'll look at the archetypes of the people involved, that's you and your person. We'll look at the telltale cards that give physical descriptors, they'll give locations in the world, they'll give um, preferences, likes and dislikes. Then we'll finish up with some zodiac charms, letter initials, and channeled songs from your person, okay? It's a very full reading. Um, at the end of the reading, I do do single card pulls currently for you. So anyone that likes the video and then subscribes to the channel, and then in the comments, you tell me that you've liked, subscribed, and ask for a card, just card please, or, or card. Um, and the next video of the same type, say if you're watching the Aries video, then in the very next Aries video, I look back and anyone that requested in the last one, I read them a card, okay? It's a free service that I do to connect one-on-one -on -one with you for as long as I can. Um, so go ahead and ask for your card in the comments if you'd like that. And remember, it is only for the very next video of the same type. Um, and you can do that in all of my different videos that you watch all of my Zodiacs and my Twin Flame Mirror Messages. I do those. Um, so make sure and ask for your card if you'd like one. Um, please hit the like on the video. I genuinely appreciate that energy exchange. Thank you so much. Um, you can skip this message in future if you've heard it and you don't want to keep hearing it. You can go to the timestamp and go directly to the message. I am doing it in a channeled format. I meditate before the message first and get right into the message um, each time now. And it's, it's more channeled in the beginning. So it's kind of a new format. I hope you enjoy it. I love you guys. And let's go see what spirit has to say. Welcome to the Leo reading for February 2022. Leo's Leo cross watchers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, fifth house is great for a love reading as well. Any combination of those will give you a bigger picture. So watch the other zodiac readings, um, whatever resonates for you, whatever calls to you, okay? Make sure that you're using your intuition. Um, Leo, you did not get a January reading and I apologize about that. So you were the first one to get a February reading um, I had an injury and I'm still recovering, so I'll be reading a little bit differently than just pulling a little bit differently than normal, but we're going to get through it. Um, I just didn't want to wait two more weeks and <laughs> I missed another, another bunch. I, I missed several weeks of reading. So here we are. Um, we're going to start with, um, a tea leaf reading for you. Let me get a little Palo Santo to clear the space. Welcome to my beautiful subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for coming and being here. Um, welcome to the new people finding the channel all the time. I'm, I'm so um, grateful for the way that the channel is growing and new people finding it every day. Please subscribe and be part of the beautiful community that we're building here. I try and get every um, sign every month. That's, that is the intention. I do also um, special twin flame readings called mirror messages if that is a journey that you're on. Got a little smoke here. Oh, lots of smoke. That's nice. Wow. Some for me, some for you, and I think we're good there. We got so much. I hope I don't set off the smoke alarm. Okay. That was a lot. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Something's hot today. Okay, we're gonna we're doing a love reading 
again for Leo. It's a timeless reading. I'm pulling it for February 2022. However, it's good whenever you see it, okay? And there's a card in here that's flipped. I'm going to go right to that. Wrapped. That's interesting. I'm going to leave it right there. Someone working against you. That's not really what I want for a love reading. Goldfish. I like goldfish better. Increase in material wealth or in spiritual growth. Ooh, oh, I just dropped so many cards on the floor. Hold on one second. I think marriage there, though. Okay, two drop face up, so I'm going to take those. Let me see what they are. We got not, marriage and not, that's interesting, and then vulture. Okay, so now the tea leaf message sometimes goes with your tarot message, sometimes it doesn't. They're just right in the middle. Okay. All right, so what I'm seeing from this combination of things is it looks like Leo you or your person could have had plans for marriage and they didn't work out. Um, they were not successful. Um, and you do feel like someone was kind of working behind the scenes to make it not happen. It's caused some maybe depression or anxiety or worry about that person being against you. I think you're right. If you're, if you're worried that someone was working against this situation working out, I think you're correct. There was someone not, um, not on your side here in this um, higher level commitment that you were looking to be in. Um, but this, the the good thing with the goldfish here is like, look, this whole situation, you're gonna learn something really valuable out of it, and you're gonna have some growth from the whole situation. Let me get a couple of more cards here. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. Look, you're gonna be coming into a more peaceful place after a um, period of, of depression with fly here. So I, I see, look, I see trying to get into a higher level commitment, someone interfering, causing some kind of depressed feelings um, but it's not going to last. I mean, there, there will be or has been a period of, of kind of depressed depression here, but, um, peace is coming out of it and you're, you're going to have learned a spiritual lesson from the whole deal. Um, a rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Yeah, there's definitely someone here that was a problematic person, but you know, with horseshoe here, it feels like they're getting away with it, but they're not, right? Luck is on your side here. Yeah, that's an interesting message. I'm, I'm not feeling a big connection to your tarot, but we'll see. We'll see. See what we get. So we're gonna start with um, the tarot then to get the storyline for what's happening for you, and then we'll go. Um, I'm I'm hearing to change it up this time. So hold on one second. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get the tarot, and then we're gonna get some oracle cards because there's gonna be extra messages there. Once we do that. We're going to go into the um, archetypes for the, both the people in the connection that we're talking about, you and your person. Um, then we're going to do the telltale cards, which are all kinds of descriptors. They can be physical, they can be location, they can be preferences, that kind of thing. Um, then we'll do um, letter initials, zodiac signs, and um, some channeled messages um, from your person. I'm hearing to do channeled messages instead of song lyrics this time. So at the end, there's going to be channeled messages. This is not how I usually do it, but I'm going to do what I'm hearing to do. So, okay, and I can't shuffle too much, so I'm shuffling a bit and then I'm fanning. 
And that's how we got to do it. Okay. So give me this storyline for Leo. Knight of Cups. Five of Cups. King of Coins. All right. So the Knight and the, and the King of Coins are both people here for me. Wow. Okay. So I am seeing two masculine energies here that are conflicting for Leo. And I see a feminine energy caught in the middle. So I see... That's interesting. Um, I see a feminine energy here for Leo, and I see someone that was a romantic interest that came in all hearts and flowers and roses and then turned away. Um, and this was a strong connection, or at least you felt like it was a strong connection. And then I see a king of coins over here, so someone stable and grounded. Not as exciting as the knight. This is someone that is probably more stable. They're more... more good intentioned they're fair they're kind they're loyal but i see this feminine energy having been very attached to the knight of cups energy but they came in and now they're just kind of going out i mean they're looking at other people they're looking in other directions now and i feel like this feminine kind of gave her cup to this knight of cups there's a two of cups here that's full behind her though that's attached to the king of coins so Here's this feminine energy looking at these empty cups down here. It's a three of cups, so third party type situation with this knight of cups. This knight of cups, this person, masculine energy is looking elsewhere, looking at others now. And it's got her ripped up, but what she doesn't understand is there's this king of coins, which a king trumps a knight any day, right? I don't like to use the word trump anymore. King, king wins over the, <laughs> that was funny, sorry. The king wins over the knight any day. The king is is stable. It's a really great option for her. It's, it's someone that would be loving and, and wonderful. But she's not seeing that this person is like right there. Right there because of this knight. She's so focused on the sadness of the cups emptying out with this, this knight of cups. She's not seeing this king right there. Two of wands, there's this choice. She's got this choice. She can go chase after that knight who's already kind of abandoned her, played with her heart a little bit. I really don't feel like this is a trustworthy person. Or she's got this beautiful, trustworthy person on this side. Now, I don't know if you see here, but the windows here, the, the window, the door leading off to the King of Coins is nice and clear. Um... A little cloudy the other one leading off to this knight of cups is all red it's like a lot of there was a lot of passion over here there was a lot of passion for this knight of cups person page of wands see the thing is the thing is that this knight of cups person was it was not trustworthy I mean, they may have seemed like they wanted um, a solid, stable commitment, but they didn't really want that. With the This page of wands is very sneaky to me. It's someone that is um, immature in love and passion, and they go throwing around words like marriage, but they don't, they don't really mean it, though. Four of Swords... There is this resting period now after this kind of debacle. The Four of Swords is the Three of Swords. Um, this heartbreak that happened. But for this Page of Wands, their heart wasn't even invested. Honestly, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands is the same person. Their heart wasn't even invested. And they're off just like taking a break somewhere. This person caused heartbreak. There's no heart here, though. 
They caused heartbreak, but they're they're not really affected by it. They're off just having a good night's sleep. The Eight of Swords. It's got this feminine energy feeling very stuck. Feeling very vulnerable and exposed and stuck. Um, and tied to the situation with the devil energy. There was a lot of passion here. And it's like, it's like this person came in and out and then you just took it away. But what the feminine really needs to understand is she's, is, she's is very strong and she's not feeling strong right now. She's feeling very chained to the passion. She's, it's very toxic, this this relationship with this Knight of Cups. I'm going to ask about this King of Pentacles because I'm kind of tired of hearing that this Knight of Cups is not good. It, this Knight of Cups, their heart wasn't engaged, not really, and they're not coming back. I'm just going to tell you that. If, if you're resonating with this, if you're the feminine especially resonating with this, or if you're the King of Pentacles wondering about this, this Knight of Cups didn't really have any good intentions. In fact, look at the way I've placed all the cards. He's off here by himself. He's like on his way to something else now. His heart was never engaged here. No stress, no worry here. Just I'm done with the situation. It really, it really tore up this feminine though. So like, tell us about the King of Pentacles here. What does the feminine need to know about the King of Pentacles here? Because she has this beautiful option here waiting for him. And I don't even feel like it's an option. I feel like it's just this stable, beautiful person. Um, King of Swords. Palace of Cups. Hanging Man. You know, this this king of, of pentacles here for this feminine is very clear about what he wants. He's stable, he's grounded, he's fair, and um, he's intelligent, and he's very willing to speak his mind about how he feels about this feminine. The home that they could build together would be really beautiful. Palace of Cups here is all about a really um, loving home. Um, but it's way beneath the water here. And like the, the feminine would have to dive into her emotions here. And she hasn't dived into her emotions for this King of, of Pentacles yet. The Hanging Man here, she's, she's just feeling like upside down at the moment. She needs some time to get some better perspective before she can really see him. He is a good option. The one thing I will say about this king, he's the king of pentacles and the king of swords. The only thing about um, love here is this one card, palace of cups. It's, it's interesting because the knight of cups here came in professing all this love and talking about love and relationship and um, romance and everything and really got this feminine believing that but like his heart wasn't engaged it was kind of bullshit I don't think this knight understands love really very immature energy but this king of pentacles here even though he's not he doesn't have his heart on his sleeve he's not talking about all of the beautiful romantic stuff that the knight of cups was bullshitting her with but he does have a loving home in mind here. He can offer a loving, stable, beautiful home with a lot of clarity. But I, this feminine needs to take some time out, okay? To, to understand um, where, where she is in the universe right now. This really rocked her. Um, Seven of Swords, yeah, the, the deceptiveness of this Knight of Cups, you know, it takes a little bit to get over that. And we got the King of Wands here, too. We got a lot of Kings here. 
in the sun. Tell me if is this the King of Wands? Is the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the same person? Is the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles the same person? The Tower. Holy bejesus. Okay, my loves. There is another king here in the picture. The King of Pentacles and the King of Swords, I feel like, is the same person. Okay, someone that's stable and clear. We got this Knight of Cups who's just a gigolo. But we got a King of Wands here that represents real happiness and a tower moment <laughs> here in this situation. So we got a feminine energy here that is dealing with three masculine energies. It's going to bring about a tower moment before she can get to her happiness because she's got to figure out now. Knight of Cups is no longer an option. They've gone away. And when she comes out of the grieving for this person, she's going to have two kings to choose from one is going to be very stable very grounded might have money um the other one is going to be a lot of passion and i think with the seven of swords here she's going to have wariness for the one that the passion um lies in because of the passion with this knight of cups here but this one is going to be a lot more passionate and can bring a lot of happiness a lot of happiness but it's going to be a tower moment to decide between the two of these people if it is that hasn't already happened if you haven't already met these people it's coming page of swords i feel like this this king of wands is kind of just hanging back watching right now waiting for the with the wheel here waiting for divine timing waiting for this this feminine to wake up and see with the judgment four of wands it's king of wands wants marriage interesting um let's get some oracle cards on this okay interesting interesting things coming up for this feminine this is really about the feminine's choice here you are not going to be lonely, that's for sure. Once you get this Knight of Cups out of your head, you know, stop letting them ride roughshod over your emotions. You're going to see that you have some really good options here for you. And I feel like either one could be really good. It just depends on what you're looking for. Um, the Sword and the Rose. Clarity, Truth, Revelation. Protection, power. Yeah, you're going to get some clarity here. But it's going to be a, a tower moment in your life when these two kind of clash. I don't know if they're going to clash in the physical or if they're just going to be present and available for you to make that choice. Uh, girl talk. Oh, I got to cut. I got to cut the deck. Um. We got talking again. There's going to be a lot of communication happening. Hop a new. Um, is that it? Hold on. Mall crawl. On the hunt. <laughs> I'm going to feel a little bit exclusive. I'm going to get some more. Hold on. Try me. Let me get these out here before I read them all. The snake. Yeah. The other. <laughs> okay. And then one more. Let's see. Clock. And let's, let's do one more. Axe. I keep seeing axe for so the third time I've seen it. Okay. <laughs> All right. What am I getting from this situation? Look, both of these kings are going to want exclusivity with this feminine. Both of them are going to want to have conversations. So there's going to be a lot of talking going on. 
um, this feminine with the snake and with Trini, this feminine is going to be very guarded toward both of them. With X here too. Snake, X, and try me all tell me a little bit of guardedness. Like, hold on, trying to heal my heart here. Both of these, both of these kings are going to want to talk to the feminine energy. Um, one of them is going to be more friendly at first. One of them is going to be more direct. I'm interested in you. Both are interested in um, commitment exclusive here. Both are interested in that. One of them is going to come in more friendly with girl talk having fun. The other one is going to be, I'm interested in you, um, more hovering, more like, one of them is going to be more, um, direct. Um, with the other here, options, another man or woman, I mean, you're going to have two options. Um, with clock here, look, take your time. If you're the feminine listening to this, you're going to need to take your time. Um, things will move in cycles. With the Sword and the Rose being the first one that came out, you're going to get clarity here. Give yourself some time. Don't feel like you have to make a decision really fast on this. Okay. Give yourself some time. Anyone that is truly for your highest good is going to allow you a little time. Okay. If someone hovers too fast, gets too too needy, too clingy, you know that that's probably not your person. I think that is going to give you clarity. Remember your own power. Protect your energy. Okay? I don't feel like either one of these people have anything bad in mind for you at all, but one is going to be more direct, more on you. One is going to be more friendly, and you're going to have to see which one feels right. Okay. Let's get um, the archetypes. Okay. I don't like to just put them on top of the other cards. So I like a clear board. So just give me a second. Leo, Leo Cross Watchers. Okay. Where is so squeaky today? Okay. Okay, so we're going to get two um, of the archetype cards, one for each person, you and your person. I am not. All right, I'm getting three. One for you and one for each king. So you're going to have to decide which is which. I'm telling you, no, 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 three. We need three. Okay. So we've got the crown. And we've got the siren. And we've got the thread. Okay. And then we're going to get um, an animal spirit to go with each of those. Okay. With the crone, we have the elephant. With the siren, we have the raccoon. And with the thread, we have the earthworm. So I want to point out, and this doesn't have to be, but I want to point out that the elephant is a fire sign and the raccoon and the earthworms are earth signs. Now that can be heavily in someone's chart or it can be their sun sign, but don't take it as it has to be their sun sign. Okay. All right, so let's look at the three people we have here, you and your two kings. Um, the first one is the crone and the elephant. So the crone, I'm going to take gender out of it. First of all, we don't know who, the gender of anybody involved here. I don't. 
It could be three women, could be three men, could be any configuration past that. Um, so the crone person is someone that is very wise. So if you look at um, if you look at the maiden, the mother, and the crone, um, which is kind of the three stages of a witch. <laughs> And I'm not saying a person is a witch, however, they could be. Um, and let's not take uh, some kind of nasty, evil connotation on the word witch. It just, I mean, you could say healer too. You could say all kinds of different things. Um, it's just a label that people like to put on things. But the maiden is the young, kind of innocent person. And then the mother is that motherly, um, you know... guiding person and then the crone is the wise person and so you don't have to be of an age um to be the crone you know you don't have to be in your 50s 60s 70s though you could be but it's more of um the crone is someone that has really gathered a lot of wisdom and is um really readily shares that with the rest of the world um they are someone that is very tapped into the elements and spirit um, with the elephant here, they, um, um, they believe in history and they believe in memory. They, they're someone that would be very, um, they're going to be someone that likes history. I keep hearing history. So they're going to be someone that's either a history buff um, they're very much into their family history or area history, world history, something like that. Um, this is someone that very believes in continuity and carrying things forward. Um, but this person has a lot of um, nostalgia and and love of nostalgia. This, this, this is someone who's very sentimental and that, you know, if you gave them something 10 years ago, they're going to have it in a little box somewhere. Or they're going to keep it on their person or whatever. It's going to be very important to them. Um, it's a really solid feeling person. It's a really caring feeling person. And it's a really intelligent, wise person. Um, the siren here with raccoon... The siren I'm getting is very sexy energy. <laughs> this is someone that um, is very seductive. And whether they're male or female or whatever else, it doesn't matter. This is someone that has a seductive quality about them. Um, they are probably, this is the kind of person that if you're in relationship with them, um, they would just like in the dark come upon you and just radish you. This is that kind of person. They, they're just very, very seductive. Um, I think that they like to be a little mysterious. Um, I think that they are um, clever. They're smart. And they kind of know how to use what they have to get what they want and that doesn't have to be in a negative connotation either sorry I just kicked my camera um I just I just keep hearing sexy and seductive with this person that is really the overall it's not all about them these are just clues to get you to be able to identify who is who here and we got the thread here, the earthworm. This person is really adaptable, I would think, here. This is this this person is a survivor with the thread here. I'm hearing that um, this person, a lot of times in their life, they have been hanging on by a thread. And every time they've come back, and they've come back stronger and better because of it. 
this person has been in a lot of darkness. They've been through a lot of dark things. And every time they manage to hold on and every time they have that 100% success rate of surviving to the next day. Um, and this is, this is a person that has been through so much darkness that rewards are coming for them. Now I see this rainbow at the top here and it's just like they've been through a lot of rain and now it's time for the rainbow in this person's life. Very much so. You got the rainbow up here and you got the rainbow in the center of the earthworm here too. It's, this is a person that's really good at making their own magic as well. And um, they may keep their magic kind of internalized. So um, this is someone that may have a lot of intuition and may have a lot of um, gifts that they don't necessarily let all the world see. They're very humble. All right, so that's what I'm getting for the three people. Let's look at the um, telltale cards. All right, hundreds of cards in here and they can be all kinds of different things. And these could be any of the three people involved, okay? So the first one is urbanite. Remember, they don't all need to resonate resonate either. Um, it's a collective reading, so lots of things here. It's just meant for you to have that little aha moment that this is you or your person. Um, so urbanite, someone that lives in an urban area. Um, demisexual. Um, consider it. Loves receiving oral sex. I'll let that speak for itself. <laughs> Easily distracted. And we've got sexy pics. So someone likes to sex. Someone likes to send pictures. That's probably that really siren type person. Adventurous. Um, changeable moods. Don't let them hear. So someone likes to keep their sex private. They don't want other people overhearing. Um, someone has brown eyes. Um, prefers the easy route. So someone likes easier more than challenge. Um, the more the merrier. Um, this is can be taken two ways. This is either someone that likes big parties and big crowds or they might like multiple partner intimacy. Um, someone could be widowed. Um, university or college education, someone. Someone might have light colored hair. Someone might be kind of a messy person, not, not a neat freak. Um, sensitive. Um, someone might love their shoes, definitely consider themselves a shoe horse. Um, high sex drive. Um, slender build. Um, coffee first, so someone in the morning, they don't really want to talk until they've had their coffee. Grateful, so someone practices gratitude. Marathon sucks, someone likes it long. Um, New Mexico, and then we have Hawaii. Could have some kind of um, history there, been on vacation there, plan to go there, lineage there, whatever. Um, playful. Lawful, someone follows the law. <laughs> someone likes uh, nibble my ears. My ears nibbled, um, colorful dress, fast food on the fly. So some, someone here will eat fast food if they're in a hurry and someone is very loyal. Okay. So those are the telltale cards that we got.
I'll leave that one out. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and do the zodiacs. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, I would, you know, concentrate on sun signs. Although if you have something really heavy or your person has a heavy placement in their chart. Oh, why did I get so many? I only just get three. All right, well, we're going to take them. Leo came out first. Clearly, it's a Leo reading, so someone's Leo. We got Libra. We got Cancer. We got Gemini. And we've got Scorpio. Okay. Not lots of people this time. Let's get the letters. Now, these can spell out first initial, last initial, middle initial, nickname, um, a location, something about you. Okay, so we got Y, A, I, Q, F. Move them over here more. Okay, and then we got C, another Y, so two Ys, F, two Fs, and T. Seeing the name Taffy, the whole thing is here. Tiffy, Tiffany, um, Sia, Fia, Tia. All those are here. I'm seeing. I'm seeing that are the word quay. Q U A Y. I think that's a body of water. Does someone live near one of those quay? Um, maybe I'm wrong about that too. If you have double F's in your name or two F's in, somewhere in your whole name, take that kind of as double. Same thing with Y's. Someone might have double letters in their name. Um, a cat, someone could be a cat lover or there actually could be, have someone in your life called cat. Keep seeing fat too, and that could be like some kind of reference. And if you're calling yourself fat, don't do it anymore. Um, it has such bad connotations now. I prefer that people not do that. Um, but it could actually be a reference to something else that's you know not derogatory too. That's why I said it. Aft to someone might be um, like boating. That's a boating term, nautical term. And then CIA. <laughs> Does someone work for the CIA? Maybe. Um, I'm also seeing facial too. Is someone an esthetician or you've gone to get a facial? And I'm seeing deficit too. Is someone like having their books done or something? Deficit where they're in the red on something? Okay. I'm also seeing the word fae, the, the name fae, or maybe people are into fairies. It's, it's not how you spell it here, but still. Some of them are, right, really like fairies. I'm seeing those little fairy figurines, the really pretty ones. Okay, take those letters as you will. And we're going to get some channeled messages from your person. So... Channel messages from your person. And I don't know which which person this is from, watcher. You have to decide who you are and who they are. But I was told not to do song lyrics, but channel messages today, so that's what we're doing. Okay, clearly those two. I am embarrassed about how my life is right now. So I feel like this could be that feminine energy in that really painful place. I'm confused about everything except that I love you. Okay. My family is causing problems that I've not been able to solve for someone. It's safer to stay silent than risk losing the possibility of someday with you. So there was that person watching and waiting. I feel like that's that king of wands energy. 
on that one. I knew when we first met that you were so special. I feel like that might be that King of Pentacles energy. The time with you was the happiest time of my life. Someone here is an ex. And one of those kings could be an ex coming back, by the way. Please give me a chance to talk this out. Yeah, there is someone coming back that wants to talk it out. That's why we're doing the messages. So you know that one of one or both of these kings could be coming from the past. I'm kind of feeling a past present energy. So one of those kings could be coming back and one could be new. You never leave my mind. I'm so in love with you. Wow. Wow. One more. I want to be the one to protect you from the world. Nice. Okay. This one came out too. I was so damn shallow. I'm so ashamed to admit I was like that. Interesting. Okay. So we saw in the... Okay. I'm just going to say this. So this is not going to resonate for everyone out there. This is for maybe like one or two people out there. And I'm going to say it because I saw it in the letter initials. We saw the word fat and then we saw someone saying, I was so damn shallow. I'm ashamed to admit it. Maybe someone had a bit of a weight issue or something. I'm not even going to call it an issue. Maybe someone carries some extra pounds than the norm and someone was shallow about it. But this person's in love with you. They're, they're starting to understand what a dickhead they were. Sorry, but truth. Interesting. In the bottom of the deck, I can never hide from you and I'm not ready to be that vulnerable. That's that person that's been watching and waiting again. My pride gets in the way of talking to you. There are some things I'm not ready to see that I need to change. I want all of you exactly the way that you are. Pay attention to this one. Okay? Alright, my loves. I hope that this has helped you. Um, and I will see you in the next reading. Hit that like if you love the energy of the channel. And um, subscribe if you're new. Take okay, let's do the individual card pulls. The first one will be for Odette. We've got the Six of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck... We've got the Page of Cups. Okay, Odette, I see you wanting to get to a more peaceful place. I, I see you not wanting to argue anymore, not wanting to fight anymore, just wanting to um, get to a more peaceful place. But with the Six of Swords here block, blocking in front of you, you just feel like people aren't letting you. You feel like there are people or things or the situation, like you can't just leave it. For some reason, you're stuck in it. Someone around you has been very immature in, in love. It's like they looked really good at first, but they ended up being very immature. Two of cups here, though. Could be soulmate energy. Very much could be soulmate energy. Also could be Pisces. Just saying. We're just seeing that. Um, but I see you wanting to leave a situation and feeling stuck in it. Magician. You have everything you need to manifest yourself out of it, though. It just, it's just feels stuck. There is a way out, okay? You just have to keep putting your energy into finding the positive way out. You have everything you need to do that. Even though it feels stuck at the moment, it's not going to stay that way. Okay. All right. Jackie is my other single card pull. If you guys want a single card pull next time, there are three things I need from you. And it's it's going to be a rule starting um, soon. It's just it's a requirement. If you want me to do a card pull, I'm happy to do it. Just let me know you liked the video, let me know you subscribed to the channel, and just ask for a card. That's all. Okay, I used to not require those things, but um, it's getting bigger, and that's that's what I how I need to do it now. So for Jackie, we've got the Two of Swords. <clears throat> 
and the six of cups so oh my love try to make a choice in this twin flame connection of yours I see you looking at your person with the eyes of innocence like you really you're seeing the soul the 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 inner child of your person you're seeing their soul um which is really beautiful and it's a really good energy to be in and it's like but you feel like you don't have an inf enough information to make a choice here but intuitively you actually one of these swords is higher than the other you you know which way to go with this you're making a choice about this connection you actually know intuitively what you want to do this lack of information is lack of 3d information your 5d self knows so you got to start listening to your intuition here about it okay you don't need to see it in the 3d to know it in the 5d and to translate that to yourself here in the 3d you need to start listening to your higher self more. This is what I'm, what I'm hearing about this, about this person. I think it's a good energy for you to look at this person in the light that you're trying to look at them in, in, in that inner child light. Who they really are at their essence, who they really are at their soul. And that will help you make your choice. Okay. All right, my loves. Take care and I will see you next time.